Hey guys, welcome to your general reading for Libra. What karma are they facing for your June 2023? You can apply this to any of your placements. So we're going to take a look at uh, someone that you dealt with or currently is dealing with. How did this person do you dirty? And then we'll finish off the read to see um, you know, what karma this person is currently facing or will face moving forward. So apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch the roles if you want. It could be karma that you're cycling through. Uh, so take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Uh, if this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a, look at your other, uh, take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Libra people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Uh, also, I've been posting readings on my TikTok page and my Instagram page. So if you guys are interested in watching extra content regarding tarot readings, feel free to follow me on there. The links for those are in the description box below. All right. So tell me about... Um, Libra, the person that Libra was dealing with or is dealing with, how did this person do Libra dirty? How did this person do Libra dirty for June 2023 for Libra? How did this person do Libra dirty for June 2023 for Libra? The Chariot Cancer Energy in the Death card. Um, I don't know. I feel like... I feel like a decision was made by someone here that completely ended, ended, ended the connection. I, it's almost like I feel like someone here didn't even expect that someone here was going to make a decision like that. So I'm going to take a look and see what that is. And maybe it could, it could have been a decision that, I don't know, maybe this person moved, uh, you know, um, and they didn't tell you. Uh, yeah, so we have the a hangman here, a Piscean energy and the Knight of Cups here, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. I don't know. I, I just feel like one of the things I'm getting here is that it, maybe the connection also ended because the connection wasn't really going forward. I feel like this person kind of like put you on pause. Yeah, they put you on pause. They were breadcrumbing you. They were wasting your time. Maybe they came in when they wanted something from you, such as like cuddles and hugs and Netflix on the bed, serenading you with song or something like that. But yeah, I just feel like someone here put someone on pause. We have the cherry and the nine of swords. I feel like the situation that you were in with this person was incredibly stressful. It's almost like I feel like you were getting some sort of whiplash with this individual because I feel like when you guys were hanging out, things are really great. Amazing. Yeah, this person was talking about the future. Like I said, serenade you with song, you know, tell you that things are going to be amazing in the future. And then this, this person kind of pulls back. Yeah. And then this person will do it again. So it, it was quite the mind bender, I would say. Yeah. Mind bender. The full card, Aries energy, Aquarius energy, the hangman. We have the emperor here, Aries energy. We have the knight of cups here and the eight of swords. Jeez. Whoever this is. I feel like this person was very emotionally closed off. It's interesting because I feel like this person had a way of making you feel paranoid or making you feel like you needed them or wanted them because I feel like this person enjoyed you chasing them. Yeah. This person really enjoyed you chasing them or like begging them or like, you know, kind of getting really flustered, you know, if they, uh, you know, don't show you the attention that they gave you previously. We have the Five of Pentacles here. Seven of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. I, I'm going to go ahead and say, you know, it's not even showing here, but it, it's almost like a deceptive energy. I mean, with the Wheel of Fortune here, this is this person's karma. I mean, they already set it into motion here, so they they they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna deal with it until they correct it. Yeah, until they correct it. Uh, what else do we have here for um, uh, Libra? 
What karma is this person currently facing or will face moving forward for June 2023 for Libra? What karma is this person currently facing or will face moving forward for Libra? Okay, we have the Four of Swords and the Knight of Wands. This person's completely like ignoring what the universe is showing them. Okay, completely ignoring it. I, I, I just feel like uh, this person is just a, not a very self-aware or conscious individual. Yeah, I, I just feel like this person lives in a world where, you know, uh, they're basically stuck in the matrix here. Yeah, they're stuck in the matrix here. We have the Seven of Swords. Yeah, deceptive energy. Seven of Swords and the Three of Wands. This person might have taken money from you too. I mean, I, there is a lot of pentacles here. I, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if this person's a bit of a thief. Uh, let's see. We have the Six of Swords here and the Eight of Cups. The, I mean, run as fast as you can, as far as you want, but your karma is not gonna let you get away. Yeah, this person's running. This person's running. This person's running. I mean, this person's being faced with like a lot of hard obstacles, but this person's like running away from it. Four Swords here in the Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands here in the Ace of Pentacles. You are going off to start a new beginning here. You're prosperous, you're financially doing well, you're independent, things are going really well for you. But um, this person's life is kind of like, you know, I mean, they're kind of like flushing themselves out in the toilet here, okay? The uh, Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords, you know, the Six of Cups, Three of Wands, and the Five of Wands here. This person has a lot of baggage, a lot of conflict with many different people. Family members, friends here, past issues here. This person might have lied about their past, might have made up like a, a fake story about their past. I mean, they could have told you that they went to Columbia University, but in actuality, they, they went to a community school or something like that. Okay, uh, Six of Swords, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, the Eight of Cups here in the Page of Pentacles. So you could be moving on from this individual here. I mean, some of you guys could have found a new job elsewhere here, you know, and you guys are physically moving away. But yeah, I, I just feel like this person's definitely just not really self-aware, yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, Libra, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.